Greetings, welcome back to the outer world worlds. And we need to get back to the circle room. Oh, I didn't get everything around here. I have no idea how they get here. Okay, I think I did I open or something like that? Then I saw you. Yeah, we need to get back. Eh? No, nothing. Need to get back there and get. God damn it! Is my engineering solo or what is that? Something is showing me lock pick. That might be it. Oh, okay. I'll get some more in the stuff then. Oh, I'm so very real. I need some way to get down there. I think. Yep, it's right here. Where are you? Well, there is another floor. Or more like two floors. Oh, nice. I'm no phantom. I just killed nearly every sentry around here, so I guess you're safe. Let's talk, okay? Come on. Calm down. Yes! Never talked before. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See, see, Higgins, this is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. That might be a that as well. Uh, you're not imagining. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Okay. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Hmm. How long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. And you went crazy after two weeks? Uh, oh, Higgins okay. has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Okay, so engineer. You were an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Okay. All from my old workroom just over in the next section. If you work in these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. Just tell me how to stop them. I can deal with mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? Well, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. Of course. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. That's horrible. Mechanics follow the behavior of the logic module someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. Kinda. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control. Yes. Here, let me just write it down for you. Any day where I can find a logic logic module? Thing? I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security really? found me and confiscated the logic module. Oh, that's you! I wanted to ask you something. Okay. Definitely start with the tail. Well, if you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. I don't want to know what you were talking about. Okay, how have you been surviving? Yeah. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Don't tell me this place looks like it's been for a while. The mechanicals lost their bolts. Open fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. Mm -hmm, and you weren't killed. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I took the hammer just in case he went bonkers. Actually, no wonder he went insane. 
I will do with all this sound 24-7 Okay, but I'm still looking for something that way mm. Up here? I don't remember which way Nope mm -mm. Would I go somewhere here? No, that's the lock. Somewhere there. What the hell? I'm lost. I'm completely lost. That was. Yeah, I used that. Oh, the logic module, right. No, there wasn't anything you could use here. There's no way getting through. Where am I exactly? Oh, it's you. This is too close, right? Oh, I found it. Okay. Logic module. Some nice stuff as well. Ooh, give me that. Thank you. And oh, I didn't say that earlier. Oh, I'm still so too low. Well, I will be at twenty if I took off my armor. Yeah. Yeah, but I need 25 here, right? Oh. Yep. So it wouldn't work anyway. Okay, journal. Mm, the long tomorrow. Turn into medicine, no. Perform go to my plant. Uh, the divert, yeah. Still need to divert the power. Those guys sound like little robots sometimes. Is that what I need to use? No, it's not this one. One terminal needed Chester's passcode. But I don't remember where it was. I think it was this one. Yes. Really high. Accessing behavior modification. Um, select. New mode? Error. Okay, so it's new target. Error. Automatic. Oh, this first bit of the place your supervisor. Define intruders. All persons, not entity or entities, not identified as properties. Okay. Define intruders. Okay. And exit. Mm -hmm. So there, that's done. Can I open this? Bart. It's still Bart. Okay, somewhere up there, I think we have to get back to the circular room, when, where, wherever the hell it is, it's here, okay, and get, oh, I can't get any higher, can I? Nope. Okay, we're back on the second level, that doesn't bode well. Uh, okay, no, now we're running in circles. Okay, use the map. You have a map for a reason, just use it. I need to get... no? The highest point. Okay, so how do I do that? I don't know which stairs go up and which go down, I guess. Okay, so go for here. Go up here. Now the central stair, which I have no idea where they are. 
think. Okay. Left? No, the other. And it's barred, of course it is. So I need to find another way out of here. Maybe the way we came through for the first time. Now we are up here. And we are supposed to go here. Wait, there's some closed. No, 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 that's our way out. Oh, by the way, let's sell our junk. Thank you. I hope I looted everything or most of the things around here. Okay, do you have do you want to talk about that? No, you won't don't want to talk. Okay, okay, okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Um, I wouldn't mind hearing your option. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Mm-hmm. Great. Tells me the edge uh, are going to die without workers and power. The deserters are a community. They can just destroy what they build. <laughs> Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick, gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Really? Well, that sure mm. like Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. If you think so. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just. I felt like I had to say something. Of course, you had to say something. Uh, no, that's cruel. Don't worry about it. I was probably listening to you. Okay. Really? Yes. I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Wait. Didn't you have green eyes before? No, now I'm creeped out and I don't know whether I want to listen to you. Okay, redirect power. Master control processing warning. Safety failures detected. L high likely likelihood of moderate or severe structural damage. Warning, redirecting power is an in irreversible procedure. Are you sure you want to continue? Emerald Valley Geothermal Plant operating at 22% efficiency. Power is currently being distributed to Edgewater and Botanical Laboratory. Please select a destination. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'll give it to the Edgewater. I think. I don't know. I don't know what's good. I don't know what's wrong. Give me a second. I have to think about that. Okay, let's redirect the power to Edgewater and try again convincing the deserters going back maybe it will work no! i don't like those sounds run where's the way out where's the way out wait what what i don't remember being up here Oh no, I was up here. Okay, never mind. Come on, get down. I'm looking for a way out. Because I of course I don't remember where it is. Oh, here it is. Oh well. Yeah, it's nice thing that we changed centuries. Uh, like, 
definition of intruder after we've killed all of them. Uh, oh well. Alright. Let me do this. Okay, so I gave nearly everything to dialogue. Hopefully, it will help. Mm, where's E? Here's E. Yep. I have new perk already? Nice. Mm. And I wanted this. Yep. Thank you. Now we'll be fast. I really hope that this is gonna get turned off. Fortunately, no. Luckily, this is busted, so... There is that. Now all we have to do is go back to the botanical lab and talk with Adelaide. And hopefully she'll listen. Hmm, is that the case? Oh, wow. yeah, wait, 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 wait. I know what I need to do. Hehe. <laughs> Told you I know what to do. <laughs> Give me that. Yes! After I undressed, I have no idea how the hell the. Maybe, you know. Maybe. The, this armor makes my finger all grabby. Oh! Thank you! So, you know, after I've taken it off, they're all slim and nice, and it's easier for me to work around little nooks. Who's Thomas? Which one? Food's bound to spoil at this rate. Grace, Stefan, Deserter, 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 Deserter. Who's Thomas? Oh, hello. One of us want to go see what happened. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Yeah, it's my fault. Whoa. Miss Parvati, <laughs> you're uh, what? Um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so. Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh gosh, no. I I'm just along with this lady here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. No. I'm just trying to get my ship off the ground. I've heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Yeah. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. What? No! <laughs> lying. What? To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Never too late to start learning. And I'll Except take all the experience I can get. I wanna make something of myself. You ever heard of the young <laughs> mechanical engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Yeah. I mentioned two pads. I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Hmm. I expect the fair prize. Had you bring me? If by some miracle you can bring me the full set. I'll give you something pretty I've been saving for a lucky day. Would you? I'd be grateful. Once in the old geothermal plant. What's on your the mind? third one. You say you're not to be an engineer. Luck, mostly. 
Nothing's needed serious repairing yet. Nothing's broken down that we can't just replace with something scavenged from the outskirts. Well, not until the power went cut out. Now everyone's giving me sidelong looks, expecting me to work some miracle and get the generator humming again. How long have you lived here? A couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. Okay. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. What are they doing? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. Sounds fair. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. Yeah. You competent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Wanna talk? Right, I knew there was something wrong with your face. The brightest thing you could, sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for, even if they ain't care much for me. Hmm. Donna seems very fond of you. Yeah. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Hmm. That boy's head over heels. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that before speaking to Adelaide. Yeah, let's see it then. And yeah, I might um, complete some of those quests. But for now, that's gonna be it. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.